My wife is currently 34 weeks pregnant. That means we have up to six weeks to get the nursery finished. But if the baby decides to be born when he's full term, that means we only have three weeks to finish. So we need to finish this room ASAP. We are transforming this room on a budget, so a lot of the design decisions revolve around that. So stick around until the end of the video to see the amazing transformation and the total cost for the nursery makeover. I'm on my third coat of paint and for some reason it's not covering it was it's, it, you, you can still see the stain or the wood stain and it looks like it's bluish like it's transparent and I think and so I went to Home Depot and got a new paint color gel in the paint I'm gonna see and hoping that that actually is the problem all right here's an easy comparison I just painted this side with the new paint and this is what three coats old paint that I had and as you can see it's still transparent versus this just one coat and it covers it so yes that was the problem I had a paint that was tintless didn't have any tint and so it didn't cover anything you can see so I think this is it this is the last coat on the doors and and trim so I'll let this dry and then we can move on to painting the walls right now what I'm going to do is use a damp sponge to smooth it out and even it out and after that I'll be using this wall texture spray <laughs> and my wife is going to just walk us through what she's going or what her plan is for the bathroom for the room here I want to have the crib um, and we got this like walnut color crib it's really pretty so that's gonna go here and then here I want to hang like a canopy to kind of block off some of the sunlight from the windows we're gonna have curtains too and Roman shades too, but I still want to do the canopy because I think it looks really cute. And then over here, this is where I want to set up the rocking chair between the two windows. And then maybe in the future, I'm thinking like doing like a shelf 
with like teddy bears or something just to decorate this area a little bit more. I don't have a shelf now, but that's in the future. And then next to the rocking chair, I want to have like a little um, table, just like a small table so we can set our water or whatever if we're rocking the baby. And then on this side here, this wall, I want to have um, like a bookshelf. So we bought these, um, like the frame shelves from Ikea. You know, I bought four of them and they're white. So maybe I want to do them um, between this window here and set up his books there and maybe like some small little teddy bears or something I've seen where it looks really cute. Isaac in the future wants to build one so then it looks a little bit more vintage, but for now I'm gonna use the white ones. And then here, my plan is to have like a little chair. So we got like a little vintage chair that looks like an adult chair, but it's really small, it's really cute. We have this huge um, like teddy bear so he's gonna sit in the in the chair. And then here, this is where we're gonna have the dresser. And we got um, one of the dressers from Ikea, so it's a pretty good size, I got the bigger one. And then that's also gonna be where we have um, the changing station. So on top of the dresser, we have the changing pad, and then maybe like, I don't know, a little lamp, and then a caddy with like diapers and wipes and stuff like that. Um, over here in the corner, or maybe in the closet, I have a hamper for like his dirty clothes. And then on top of the dresser on the wall, my plan is to do like a mirror. I have like a vintage mirror. I just have to like clean it up a little bit. But it's like a walnut color, so it'll match the crib too. It's really cute. So we'll put that here on top of the dresser. And then on this side, I have um, like a vintage little shelf with pegs to hang, I don't know, whatever is close, just to decorate the wall a little bit more. And it's also like like a walnut color, so it's really cute. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan. The baby's prison, I mean, the baby's crib is, <laughs> it's splendidly built. I like it.
share a story that is meaningful to me. Ready for a trip? Yes. Here we come, Disney World. Yes. On November 19, 2023, my wife and I took a trip to Orlando, Florida with plans to visit Disney World. This trip was particularly significant because we had spent almost a year trying to conceive and two months earlier, we had experienced a miscarriage. My wife was understandably hesitant about the trip, unsure if it was the right time. With some gentle encouragement and the hope that the trip could bring us some happiness, I convinced her to go and the trip turned out to be very special for us. When we arrived in Orlando, our excitement grew. We went to Animal Kingdom where we explored the world of Pandora. The Avatar theme attraction and the bioluminescent rainforest was impressive. We took lots of photos and videos and our smiles grew wider as the day went on. On day two, we visited Magic Kingdom. The rides, the laughter, and even the hamburger made the day special. Both of us had been to Disney World as kids, but experiencing it together as adults was a different and enjoyable experience. One of the highlights of our trip was the happily ever after fireworks show at Magic Kingdom. Getting tickets for the show during the holiday week seemed impossible. Despite many calls and checking the website for cancellations, I managed to book our tickets three days before the show. The night of the fireworks was wonderful. We stood there watching the sky light up and listen to the music. It brought us a sense of peace and hope. This trip is connected to our present day nursery preparations because during that magical trip, we conceived our little miracle. Today, as we paint the walls and assemble the crib, we can't help but think about that trip and the happiness it brought us. The nursery makeover is finally complete. Our son arrived on July 30, 2024, just three weeks and four days after we began the transformation. Fortunately, we had managed to finish all the major elements in the nursery and added the final touches once we brought him home. We are thrilled with the results. We absolutely love it. The room is now cozy, warm, and has a moody ambience, making it our favorite spot in the house. The entire makeover cost us just a little over $1,000, which we think is a great deal for such a stunning transformation. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment below. Thank you.